Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our thrilling adventure. Today, we're diving into a world where reality bends and imagination takes the wheel. Picture this, a virtual reality landscape that shimmers with an otherworldly glow, casting eerie shadows that dance around our young heroes. Towering snowdrifts stand like ancient sentinels, their surfaces glistening under a pale, ghostly light. It's a place where fears come to life, and courage is the only way forward. So, buckle up as we join Eli Thompson, Maya Chan, and Liam Patel on their journey through this surreal realm. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. Stay tuned. Inside the virtual reality world, Eli Thompson, Maya Chan, and Liam Patel stood at the edge of a surreal landscape, their hearts pounding in unison. The air shimmered with an otherworldly glow, casting eerie shadows that danced around them. Towering snowdrifts loomed like ancient sentinels, their surfaces glistening under a pale, ghostly light. The children exchanged nervous glances, each feeling the weight of their fears manifesting in this strange realm. Before them, the snowman towered, a menacing figure with coal-black eyes that seemed to pierce through their very souls. Its body, crafted from perfectly packed snow, was adorned with a tattered scarf that fluttered in an unseen wind and a crooked carrot nose that seemed to twitch with anticipation. Eli felt a chill run down his spine, not just from the cold, but from the realization that this creature was born from their deepest anxieties. Eli took a deep breath, his mind racing. The pressure to excel in sports had always been a heavy burden, but now, standing before the embodiment of his fears, he felt a flicker of determination. We can't let it control us, he shouted, his voice echoing in the vastness. The words surprised him, but they also ignited a spark of courage. He stepped forward, feeling the warmth of his friends behind him. Maya, her heart pounding, felt the familiar pang of being misunderstood. She had always been the odd one out, her creativity often dismissed. But here, in this world, her imagination could be her greatest weapon. What if we use our stories against it? She suggested, her voice trembling yet resolute. The idea blossomed in her mind, and she began to weave a tale of bravery and friendship, her words swirling around them like a protective shield. Liam, ever the cautious thinker, felt the familiar grip of anxiety tightening around him. Change was his greatest fear, and the chaos of this world threatened to overwhelm him. But as he watched Eli and Maya confront their fears, something shifted within him. He realized that adaptability was not just about avoiding change. It was about embracing it. Let's work together, he urged, his voice gaining strength. We can face this thing as a team. The snowman loomed larger its form shifting ominously as it absorbed the children's fears. Eli, Maya, and Liam stood united, their hearts beating as one. They began to chant their fears aloud, not as a surrender, but as a declaration of their strength. I fear failure, Eli shouted, his voice echoing with newfound confidence. I fear being overlooked, Maya added, her creativity igniting the air around them. I fear losing my friends, Liam exclaimed, his voice steadying as he faced the truth of his emotions. As their voices intertwined, the snowman began to tremble, its form flickering like a candle in the wind. The children felt a surge of energy, a warmth spreading through them as they confronted their fears head-on. The atmosphere crackled with suspense, the air thick with the promise of transformation. They realized that understanding the snowman was key to overcoming it, and with each word, they chipped away at the icy facade that had held them captive. In that moment, the children understood that the snowman was not merely a monster to be defeated. It was a reflection of their own struggles, a reminder that fear could be transformed into strength. Together, they took a step forward, ready to face the frost and emerge victorious. As the children stood united, their hearts beating as one, they began to chant their fears aloud, not as a surrender, but as a declaration of their strength. I fear failure, Eli shouted, his voice echoing with newfound confidence. I fear being overlooked, Maya added, her creativity igniting the air around them. I fear losing my friends, Liam exclaimed, 
his voice steadying as he faced the truth of his emotions. As their voices intertwined, the snowman began to tremble, its form flickering like a candle in the wind. The children felt a surge of energy, a warmth spreading through them as they confronted their fears head-on. The atmosphere crackled with suspense, the air thick with the promise of transformation. They realized that understanding the snowman was key to overcoming it, and with each word, they chipped away at the icy facade that had held them captive. In that moment, the children understood that the snowman was not merely a monster to be defeated. It was a reflection of their own struggles, a reminder that fear could be transformed into strength. Together, they took a step forward, ready to face the frost and emerge victorious. All right, story lovers, that wraps up chapter three of our adventure. Eli, Maya, and Liam have shown us that courage and teamwork can overcome even the most daunting fears. Remember, fear is not just an obstacle. It's a stepping stone to strength. If you enjoyed this journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join us for more thrilling tales. Until next time, keep dreaming and exploring with Storyteller.